Hi guys, um, today's video I'm going to attempt to show you how I make uh, my crepe flowers. I do use the streamer, the streamer crepe paper. I don't know if tissue paper will work because I haven't tried it. Whoopsie. But I did have a request um, if I would do do a uh, do a do a <laughs> I can't say that do a tutorial on how to make these. And so I've attempted it already and it failed because my setup fell down. So this is the one I did make like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so we'll try and make another one. So the first thing you need is of course the crepe paper. And I like to use these metal dies. This one right here is my favorite. I have made a flower with this one right here. This one's from AliExpress. It comes in a set. I don't know where I got these. They may have been Tuesday morning. I'm not sure. I did I did try to look on AliExpress for this one so that I could put a link down, but I couldn't find it. This one is still available. So that's why I think I, that's not from Ali. So what you do is I made a template. My template's one and three quarters by two and a quarter. And I take my crepe paper and starting at the bottom, I wrap this around approximately 10 times. If you go around more than 10 times, that's perfectly fine. You just don't want it too bulky to run through your, your die machine or your die may not cut all the way through. And so you wrap that around like that about 10 times, slide your template out, and then I like to kind of smash the ends a little bit and then you take your your flower die put it right in the center and then you run that through your die machine and it comes out looking like this it is pretty compressed on the edges so you do have to work these a little bit to try and separate them this is the part that takes so long and so you work those and separate them. I like to do all five petals because when you go to, I'll show you here in a sec, when you go to peel them apart, they come apart easier when you've got them pre-separated on the edges. So yeah, this is the part that takes so long. So you just peel all these apart. So you could do this like just cut you a bunch of these and set in front of the TV or something and just sit there and peel these apart and you'll have them ready to go you can make some flowers so I won't peel all these apart I've got um, a pile here ready so then I like to I like to take some of these and lay them all lay them all out and then get my glue and then you want to dot the centers doesn't take very much whoops whoops okay dot the centers and then you just start let me show you see if I can pull it up here you just start laying them together and you need to stagger them here where the the petals are separated so the next one would go on like that you see what I'm saying so this petal would go in between the two the two others so you just do this and I like to do about 15 layers per flower That's why, that's why it's easier if you can just, you know, lay a whole bunch out and then just dot the glue. Okay. Just like this. And then 
what I like to do is take something like the end of something. This is the end of my exacto knife. Whoops, I have to. You have to have a dry one on top. If you hear that squeaking, it's just my little puppy, my little dog. She's playing with her toys up here in my room. So, I know that looks a little dangerous. Got my pointy end up, right? Or you can take a lollipop stick too and just press it in the middle. And then what I do is, this is what I use, my E6000. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I find it really holds um, the embellishments on. So then you would take your little embellishment, take your E6000, mine is kind of dried up on the end. Hang on. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Okay. Put a little dot of E6000 on there. And then take your little embellishment. Stick it right in the center. And see how pretty that is? And here we go. I have one right here that's already done and dried. And so then I like to just start squishing these up. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just, just start smashing them. What are you barking at? Huh? You hear that crinkling noise? Yeah. No, no. Quit. So, you know, and then just kind of fix this anything that's all so anyway, that's how I that's how I make them, and I hope that was helpful. Um, on my last video that I messed up, I showed you how to put these little stamens in in um, the center of these. I did buy these from AliExpress. I got a bunch of a bunch of little packets. They do come with a lot in them. It says 150 pieces per bag, and they were very inexpensive. And so. Um, I just took a few out. I know a lot of people are using these for butterflies too, so I thought I needed some of these because they're so useful for a bunch of different things. And so then you just kind of gather them all up and twist them together like this. And um, let's say this is a flower that's Oh wait, look, I have one. Okay, so you have a flower. This one's kind of thick though. I think I put more than 15 layers in it, but then I take my little, my small, my small hole punch. Hey, stick it in there like that. Punch yourself a little hole, just like this. And then I like to put a little glue on there, just like that. And whoops, stick these down in there just like that. And there you go. Isn't that adorable? So that is how I make all these pretty little crepe flowers. They do get smashed a little like in the mail because everything gets smashed in the mail, right? But all, all you got to do is just fluff them back up when they get all smashed out, just fluff them back up. This flower is a little ratty looking because um, I did use this dye on it. So it does make a difference which dye you use. I think this one is more fragile. Oh, I think it's like stuck down in there. There we go. It's more fragile because of these lines on here when you cut it out. I don't know if you can see it on here. See these little, little cut lines? It makes it more fragile. So that is why I prefer the other one over it. But it is still gorgeous, isn't it? And I did punch a hole in it, and I put a little, I used my little 5 8 cent punch, inch punch and put a piece of card cardstock back there so I could attach that brad. I'm sure you don't need the cardstock, but um, just use your little tiny punch, punch a hole, stick your brad in there. These brads are also from AliExpress. And so, anyway, if you have any questions, 
you know, feel free to ask me. I don't mind answering questions. And um, I hope you find this video useful. I know I love these flowers. And anyway, thank you for watching.